Hey there, and welcome to BridgeText.com's tutorial on how to do a Shapiro-Wilk test in Stata. A Shapiro-Wilk test is a test of normality. For a continuously distributed variable, think of height, weight, IQ, income, those kinds of variables. Let's say that we want to know, does this variable follow you know, more or less that classic bell curve shape? Is it normally distributed or is it not normal? Well, you know, you can look at histograms all you want, but at the end of the day, if we are absolutely wanting to know analytically, is a variable normal? Is it normally distributed? We need something like the shapiro bulk test and its accompanying p-value to tell us that. Otherwise, we are guessing. So we're going to create a data set. In this line, I'm going to create 100 observations. Using the draw norm command in Stata, I'm going to create a variable x, the mean of 100, SD of 15. Because it's draw norm, it will be normally distributed. Now, that's a bit of a cheat, but I need to do that for this exercise so that I have one variable that I'm sure is normally distributed. And next, I'm going to generate y using the rootiform command, which is just random. And the range will be anywhere from 55 to 145 for those 100 values. So y we can expect to not be normal, x we can expect to be normal. I've now created them. And now we're going to type in s wilk x y. We could go one at a time, but Stata lets you do both. So let's do that. Now, the key finding here is in the probability column. If the probability is greater than 0.05, then that variable is normally distributed, which is the case for x, not surprising, because I use draw norm. And conversely, if probability is below 0 0.05, then that variable is not normally distributed. And that's exactly what we did. That was our expectation. That's what we wanted to do. So let's confirm that. We'll just create a couple of histograms here. And there you go. That's a pretty classic bell curve shape for x and let's do histogram y and that's not a bell curve at all so we can also see with the histograms that those expectations were met x is normally distributed y is not and the shapiro wilk test quantifies that for us with those p-values which is very handy now as with a lot of things in Stata, you can extend the s wilk command and kind of bend it around a bit here let's say you just wanted to look at the normality of x just for the first 50 values. You could type in s wilk x in 1 slash 50, and Stata would automatically subset that for you. Now, I'm also going to do something a little bit different here, kind of fun. I'm going to create a categorical variable for gender, and I'm just going to have male and female values. And I don't want you necessarily to worry about this code here because this is a Shapiro Wilk tutorial. However, you can look at it, and you know, if you want to learn how to create uh, categorical variables in Stata, you might be able to derive something from that. This is the line I'd like you to look at, the very last one. So when we have this new categorical variable, we just type in by gender, in this case, comma, space, sort, colon, space, s wilk, space, x. Now, here's what this is going to do for us. It's going to give us separate Shapiro-Wilk results for males and females. And here, as we can see, they're both normally distributed because the p-values are over 0.05. So it's pretty handy in Stata that you can use s-Wilk to subset like that. 